What is up guys, just woke up a little bit ago and I'm gonna be doing another full day of eating. This time I am on my lean bulking diet. I'll show you guys all the meals that I eat, or I guess meals and snacks. Here's meal number one, I almost forgot. We have, same as the last full day of eating, right? One Oikos triple zero yogurt, got 15 grams of protein. These are solid ass yogurts, I don't even like. Zero fat, only 10 carbs, 15 grams of protein. Total sugars, five grams. Other, other yogurts? like 20 grams of sugar, you don't want that shit. Then we have the classic oatmeal with two tablespoons of peanut butter, right? And then mixed in with some cherries. So that is my breakfast. I'll put the macros on the screen right here for it. Probably work right there, put the macros on the screen. At the end of the video, I'll show you guys the macros for a total day. I'm only eating about two, 300 calories over my maintenance calories, just so I'm not gaining a ton of fat. So I'm gonna go ahead and work out now. And I live in Indiana and it's the beginning of September. It's absolutely freezing out here, 61 degrees. It's like 10 a.m. I'm gonna go hit this leg workout. It's gonna get absolutely sick nasty up in here. It's a five rep max followed by a four by 12. So it's about to get absolutely sick nasty up in here. So yeah, roll some footage of the workout. Free and dive into the sky. Hear the wind crying out its prayer. Why are we so ashamed to be alive? Break the chains and our freedom's lost its ache. I just hit a new five rep max at 310, and then followed by that, I did a four by 12 with 230 this time. Last time I did with 225. So I'm feeling stronger. I'd like to leave you guys with a note. Say, focus on your weight and focus on your own progress. And that will get you to the top no matter what. Don't ever compare yourself to anyone else. Compare your, your weight to other people's weight. Um, it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, you'll feel on top. Uh, when you complete your goals, not if you compare yourself to other people. I had that new max today, I'm feeling great, and I killed my legs, I had a great workout, I'm gonna go home and have meal number two for the day. guys saw me make was a protein shake about 12 ounces of milk a half a cup of oats for those extra carbs because after evaluating my meal plan I realized I don't have enough carbs on my diet so I started adding those in and I'm putting them in the shake so it's super easy to get down those extra carbs instead of shoving rice down my throat or something like that so I just throw those in the shake really quick with one scoop of protein powder a banana and then one third cup of cinnamon roasted almonds that's gonna be like my post workout meal and regardless of what time I work out in the day this is usually what I have after. So I'll throw the macros on the screen, probably like right here for this meal. And uh, yeah, included with this diet, I'm also gonna be taking five grams of creatine every single day. From research, it says that I'm doing just five grams a day and not doing the loading phase. It takes up to about 30 days for your body to be fully saturated with the creatine. So you won't actually start reaping the benefits and the results until about like those 30 days where your body is actually reacting to it. Creatine is probably one of the only supplements that I really take other than protein powder. I occasionally have BCAs and maybe some pre-workout. I usually just stick to protein powder and creatine. I don't usually use any other supplements other than that. I'm gonna take this five grams of creatine right here, dry scoop, wash it down with some Gatorade, a G2 grape, you already know, maybe. Back with the third meal of the day, and I'm gonna show you guys what exactly I eat and actually explain a little bit why I'm eating this rather than what I normally eat. So, 
Here we have three eggs and three egg whites with two pieces of toast and then I added some cheese in there. A little bit more flavor action going on and then we have some avocado toast here on the side. So normally for this meal, I will have three whole eggs and three egg whites on a bed of rice. I'll just eat it like that and I'll use the rice as my carbs, but I'm here at my parents' house today so I had to improvise a little bit and uh, go with the bread. So that just goes to show you guys, if you do not have the resources that you need uh, available at the time, always improvise and always get your macros in. I always have this avocado toast on the side with a little bit of salt and pepper on there as well to make it super tasty. That's gonna be meal number three. I'll put the macros on the screen for it, probably like right around here. If you guys haven't met my dog, this is Dover. Dover, say what's up? Say what's up? He eats three meals a day too. He eats about a cup, cup and a half of food, three meals a day. So he's getting big himself. We are back for the, I think, fourth meal of the day. One whole packet of Uncle Ben's basmati rice because they didn't have the jasmine. My favorite's jasmine, usually go with that, but then we got some steamed broccoli and one whole chicken breast. There is some soy sauce on the rice and then a little bit of ranch right there. I'm not really worried about the calories and sauces right now since I'm lean bulking. I'm not gonna calculate everything out to a T. I'm trying to make it as easy as I can for me to stick to it. That's gonna be meal number four. Put the macros on the screen for it right here. I'll see you guys for the last meal of the day. Right, guys, we're back with the fifth and final meal of the day. So it is going to consist of three cheese sticks. We got Colby Jack cheese here because it's fire. And then we also have one protein bar. Usually with my final meal, I also eat like some extra fruit, get in some micronutrients and some extra carbs. But I already had the fruit earlier, but normally I'll have uh, this snack. So three cheese sticks, a protein bar and some fruit. I'll put the macros for that on the screen in this corner somewhere. Another thing I'd like to mention with my diet is my diet overall consists of about 3,500 calories-ish, 34, 3,500 calories. Calories, and I always save room for extra calories. So I eat my base five meals uh, slash snacks throughout the day. And then on top of that, you know, if someone were to offer me an oatmeal cream pie, for example, uh, I would totally eat that oatmeal cream pie and I wouldn't have to worry about it because going over my calories isn't so much of a big deal because as long as it doesn't happen consistently every single day with bad food, I'm not really worried about it. But every now and then, maybe once a week, twice a week, I don't know, maybe three times a week, it's really not that big of a deal because because I am in a bulking phase. That's just a little tip for you guys. Have some flexibility in your diet, especially uh, when you're bulking. But when you're leaning down, unless you're doing, uh, unless you're going for a competition, I wouldn't really worry about exact macro. But just kind of have a base idea of where your macro should be at and hit those goals every single day. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave a like down below and uh, leave a comment of other videos that you might like to see on this channel. Go to my channel for more videos like this one and I'll see you guys in the next one.